hello everyone and welcome to another very exciting tutorial today I'm gonna to be talking about easing functions using CSS and JavaScript uh, by the way I have been sick during the last two three days so uh, I would just want to ask you to excuse me because of my voice and without further ado let's get started during the last week I have been developing the code to generate this awesome page right and this is all about easing functions. Uh, I will I'll put the link to this page. Uh, it's basically on kotus.com slash easings. You go ahead and read it, read like the description that I've put over here. But what we have here is actually the visualization of, um, you know, whatever uh, attribute, either it's like the translate, it, either it's a scale, either it's rotation. Uh, and progress of that over the time, right? So there are a lot of websites describing these, but I really thought that it's a good idea to start with this because in the couple of next tutorials, I'm going to use this extensively to create awesome animations. And just for you who doesn't know what easing function is, easing function is the rate of change of a parameter over time, right? So the, the normal way of defining it is the linear animation. Linear animation is that the speed of the animation is totally constant and that is not uh, what we have in our physical life, right? So I'm going to go ahead uh, and click on some of these easing functions to show you what happens. So we have this box over here to visualize the animation. I'm going to use ease out quad. You can see that the animation starts constant and then slow at the end right and if I choose is in quad it's the other way around so it, it starts it starts really slow and then it gets the constant speed that it needs and then if I choose for example is in out quint you'll see that you have this awesome jump as if it tele teleports to the end position right and just to just to give you an idea of what these namings are quad, you know, cubic, quint, these are basically mathematical functions. Uh, quad, for example, represents the power of two, cubic power of three, quad power of four, and quint power of five. I'm not going to just dive into this, but just to give you a clue of where the naming uh, namings are coming from. And if you are familiar with, uh, you know, visualizing graphs and uh, sine and cosine uh, sort of curves over time you're gonna you're gonna understand what those values mean right for, for example this one is exponential you can see that it it starts really slow and it goes fast right and also the other way around it starts really fast and then it slows down and some of these some of the easing functions if, if I scroll down a little bit down here you can see that for each of these that you click you get a representation of the uh, you know cubic bezier uh, of that specific function and I'm gonna just go ahead and create one prototype to, to tell you how you can utilize this but some of these easing functions like elastic like for example bouncing you cannot do them using CSS so if I click for example on ease out elastic you can if I play again you'll see how this animation is right and then basically you can see that in CSS, no, not possible using CSS, but JavaScript has this function that you know you can utilize in your JavaScript to get the same effect. You'll see this is the effect that I used in in one of the teasers, you know, that that generates the elasticity on the nav bar. You can see that I I used this, and and you you get a little bit of a general description about what are these parameters over here. So you have T, B, C, and D. T stands for current time or current step, B the starting position of your animation, C amount of change basically the end minus the start of the animation so if for example you're going to translate something 300 pixels the end will be 300 pixel and the start is going to be zero so the amount of change is going to be 300 pixels right and then D is the total animation time or total number of steps that you use to, to create your animation right so without further ado let's go ahead and create a uh, prototype and I'm gonna show you how you can utilize this I'm gonna create a box and then in my CSS I'm gonna say with 
maybe 30 pixel height 30 pixel and then background uh, maybe orange and then uh, well I guess that's enough I just need to set the position to be absolute and maybe give it a left of 50 percent so that we have a little bit of uh, you know maybe not 50 percent maybe 50 pixel so this imagine that this is this is the element that we want to animate right and I want to animate it 300 pixels right so I'm going to create a keyframes anim and then from I don't so the from is whatever it is by default and then to I want to trans transform translate it 300 pixels right so I've defined my animation now in order to use that I am going to write animation in my box class uh, and I'm going to use the name of my animation here uh, so sorry anim and then let's say one second right so you can see that I have a one second animation this animation defaults to ease out as the easing function because that's the default for CSS animation here but I'm going to just change it to linear right so this you can see that it is all linear and in order for this to stop at the end I'm going to just add uh, animation fill mode to be forwards right so now it will end so again I'm going to go just run the animation again by the way you you see a lot of time I run the animation I just put it like a space here and it just runs the animation again right so you can see that we have a linear animation going back to our easing functions I'm gonna let's say use this uh, ease in out expo this is one of my favorites and then I'm going to do the CSS so you can see that we have the code for the transition so for example if you want to have interaction in your JavaScript by clicking on something then you want to run this transition but the only thing right now I need is the cubic bezier that is defined over here so I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna come here instead of linear I'm gonna paste that cubic right so you can see that now I'm gonna get this cool animation that utilizes that uh, basically ease in out expo which is pretty much uh, easing like slow in the beginning real quick in the middle and then slow at the end right so again if I run this we're gonna get this and then if I go back for example choose another thing let's say for example this one so you can see that or maybe maybe something else maybe let's choose uh, we have ease in back so we have this and then we have ease out back and then we have ease in and out back. So let's let's use this one. So I'm going to choose this cubic bezier over here, and I'm going to paste it in the place where I defined the other cubic bezier. So you can see that if I run this again, uh, well, let's see why it didn't work. This is basically the cubic bezier I have to use. Uh, I'm going to choose this one and then I'm gonna use that in my cubic bezier animation over here and you can see how it goes back and forth so the reason the first one didn't work is WebKit transition all here we have defined it's basically for old browsers unfortunately old browsers do not have the value minus zero and more than one you can see that all the values are in, in cubic bezier are between zero and one so some old old browsers do not support this so you can see by defining minus it comes a little bit down and by defining more than one it goes a little bit up here so that's how it represents that back and forth animation but in old browsers it does not have so this is basically to compensate for the people who have old old browsers right so that the animation still runs so right now you can see that I use that cubic bezier and now you have this awesome animation. So go ahead, play with this page. I'm going to put the link down here uh, in, the, in, the, in the description section. You can see what kind of animations you can get, pretty cool animations. And go ahead and use the JavaScript and you know CSS, wherever you need to use these. In the next tutorial, I'm going to actually utilize showing you how you can use, for example, Elastic. Uh, out is uh, is is out elastic uh, obviously no CSS using JavaScript and I'm gonna teach you how to utilize these three parameters and how to pass and also how to utilize the 
uh, request animation frame API in CSS to tell the browser when you want to paint your animation, right? So I hope you, you, you really like this, this tutorial. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do. And stay tuned for the next tutorial. It's going to be either today or tomorrow. Have a good day and night. Goodbye.